Hello and welcome back to the Building with AppSheet series. I am Google Workspace Customer Engineer Pooja Jain and in this episode, we'll talk about surfacing AppSheet app in Google Docs using Smart Chips. In order to use AppSheet app in Google Docs, we need to perform certain steps. In this video, we will see a demonstration of such steps namely first installation of the app sheet add-on from google workspace marketplace second sharing the app with workspace users or domains third inserting the app sheet smart chip into a google doc finally start viewing and interacting with the app sheet app in the end we will review permission settings as a way to troubleshoot should you run into any issues so let's dive in. You can embed a view of your app into Google Docs using the AppSheet Smart Chips. Google Doc users with access to the app can then see supported app views, trigger actions, and update data without ever needing to leave Google Docs. The illustration on the screen shows that by simply pasting the app URL, an AppSheet app can be rendered as a smart chip in Google Docs. When the user hovers over the smart chip, it displays the app using Google Workspace card framework. In order to use AppSheet smart chips, you or your Workspace administrator must first install the AppSheet for Google Docs add-on. Let us see how. So I have a facility inspection report here, which I would like the users to use to update or view the data from the facility inspection app. This is the AppSheet app that was built for facility inspection. If I go here, there are inspections, all the data, all the inspection passed in the recent time frame. I would like this data to be included in my Google Docs facility inspection report. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we need to install the AppSheet add-on. For that, we'll go to extensions from the menu header, click add-ons and click get add-ons. From here, we can search for app sheet and click on the icon here for the app sheet for Google Docs. Click on install and use the account that you're using to give permissions. Hit continue and give the permissions and click continue. This is going to install the add-on for your Google account. I'm going to go ahead and grant access to my Google account. AppSheet for Google Docs has been installed. Great, now before we add the app here, we need to share the app to allow access by workspace users or domain. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and add my entire domain so that any collaborators in my domain whom I add to my Google Docs can see the app content that I add. Now it's time to add the app sheet to the Google Doc. There are two ways of doing that. First, we can go ahead and grab the URL of the app. And here we can simply paste the URL of the app that we just copied. Google Doc prompts me to use tab to replace that URL with a simple and easy to navigate app sheet chip. Here, you'll be asked to authorize access. I'm going to go ahead and grant all the required permissioning and access. Now I can hover over the smart chip to start interacting with my app. Here are the details of the various inspections done at different points in time. I can go ahead and click on details to view one of those inspections. Here I can go ahead and edit, delete or do all the required actions as set up in my app. I'll go ahead and click on view. This shows me the view of the staff who did the inspection. Brilliant. The second way to use app sheet app within Google Docs is by using smart chips. Type add in the document and scroll further down until you see the integrations. Here there are two options, open form or open deck to view a form view or deck view respectively. I'm going to select open deck. Here it gives me a list of the apps that are available for me to select from. Note a maximum of 25 apps can be listed but you can search for any app that includes the view you selected. I'm going to go ahead and select the facility inspections app. 
Here I can select the app view from the drop down. I would like to see the app view for the inspections and hit open. The app view is inserted into the document. You can view and interact with the app in the document as you would do in the app. In this example, the inspection deck view is displayed. I can go ahead and click details to open the detail view of one particular inspection. Great, we're able to see all the details as we would see inside our app or with the help of the direct URL as we saw before. In addition, not only you can view the data, you can also make changes to the data itself. As an example, let's take a look at this particular inspection. If we take a look at the details, we can take certain actions here. I'd like to see who is this inspected by. Excellent. This person, Isidore, has all the details here. I can come here and change their shift as well. Notice here the shift is day, but we can change this to night real time by making changes within smart chips. Excellent. There you go. Now let's say this person has left the company, so we would like to delete this record. I can come here and delete their record. This will trigger an update in the database within the AppSheet app as well. Excellent. AppSheet app can also be directly accessed from this smart sheet as well by clicking on the open app which opens up a separate window. We just looked at the deck view. Let's take a look at the form view and how you can update the record. I'll go ahead and add mention the smart chip. Come to the integration section here and click on open form this time instead of open deck. I'll select a different application this time which is shift management. I would like to update a schedule for a shift so I'm looking for a specific self-enrollment so I can provide my shift availability. This can be opened directly within Google Docs. Excellent. Here we can update and add the data directly within Google Docs which will update the AppSheet app in the background. Here we can save the record and the record was updated and saved directly within the Google Docs. If you would like to see, we can hover over this smart chip and it shows the data that was just entered. We can also view this within AppSheet. All right, let's revisit some pointers on access and permission. If you don't have permission to use an AppSheet app, an error message might display as a chip label. AppSheet policies and access permissions apply when using AppSheet smart chips. So make sure A. You're signed into AppSheet and Google Docs using the same Workspace account and B. Your Workspace account has permissions to access the app. Once you have secured the required access, you can click on refresh to render the app in the AppSheet smart chips. This concludes the video on using smart chips for AppSheet. For more info on AppSheet, Google Cloud and Google Workspace, check out the links in the description below. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this series so you don't miss out. As always, thanks for watching.